Welcome back to ENI UK and Europe Edition. Now we have more interesting stories from the United Kingdom this week. First up, we have a live report by Love and Season on the 50% discount on UK restaurants. Here with her report is Love and Season. Hi, Love and. Hi, thank you, Jean Carlo. So, yes, for more details, as of Monday, 3rd of August, the UK's new Eat Out to Help Out scheme allows restaurant goers to get 50% off their food bill up to a value of £10 or $13 per diner in an effort to help the struggling hospitality industry during the coronavirus. Now the scheme is providing is the scheme is proving popular in London with queues seen in many restaurants and cafes. Now here are some of the reactions from customers. I think it's a great idea. I think the business they they need all the encouragement they can get, you know, and I also think it's nice for us to get out and um a lot of people are still frightened to get out, but um, hopefully this will encourage them. Currently, I think in the situation where people are at home um, on furlough, like myself, um, I think it's nice to get out and do a little bit for the community. You know, the government are giving back to us, and I think it's great that we're giving back to the people who need it a lot. So, yeah, for me, it's, it's, it's nice to get out and about. And I hate seeing this restaurant shut. It's such amazing restaurants in London, and, and you see them shut it down. It's, it's awful. So, um, it's, whatever they're doing, I hope it works, because I, I would love to see these restaurants back, back and open. So, British Finance Minister Rishi Sunak says the scheme has never been tried in the UK before. According to the government's official website, the scheme involves the following. So, there's 50% off food and drink in participating restaurants, cafes, work and school canteens, food halls and other places serving food. £10 per person limit to discount and alcoholic drinks and service charge are not included. Only applies to people ordering food to eat on site. It also applies on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays in the whole of August. Now, it can be used as often as you like on those days. It also automatically applies at the till, so no voucher is needed. Now, all diners in a group of any size can use the discount. So, Giancarlo, if two people, say, spend £50, they can only receive a discount of £20. Businesses will be able to claim the money back from the government and will have the funds in their bank account within five working days. Back to you, Giancarlo. Thank you, Lavan. You mentioned that this scheme has never been tried out in the UK before. Uh, why has it been introduced now? Well, see, this aims to increase trade on quieter days of the week and it will help businesses stay afloat. Now, hospitality, hospitality in the UK is one of the biggest employers and has been affected badly by the lockdown measures. In April alone, 80% of venues closed and 1.4 million hospitality workers have been placed on furlough at some point since then, according to the BBC. Now, some venues have been able to offer takeaway service during lockdown, but this means lower average spending per head and fewer people employed. And also, it's not an option for some businesses. Now, the government is positive that the discount will bring in diners and increase customers at the quieter days of the week and ultimately boost confidence in going out to eat. The scheme is also being used in parallel with the targeted help, such as a cut in tax for hospitality and tourism businesses. Giancarlo? Thank you, Lavan. But are there others who feel that this is not really helpful and are there critici criticizing this scheme? Well, not everyone actually feels enthusiastic about it, Giancarlo. Others suggested the scheme should be renamed Eat Out to Help Herd Immunity. And money is better spent on a more robust trace and contact system to build customer confidence. Now, many fast food chains are taking part in the scheme, which has drawn criticism from some anti-obesity groups. Now, the National Obesity Forum, for example, has said it would be a green light to promote junk food. Now, the discount scheme sits alongside the government's healthy eating plan that bans buy one, get one free deals on unhealthy food amid growing evidence of a link between obesity and an increased risk from coronavirus. Now, when asked if the government was promoting mixed messages, Care Minister Helen Waitley told LBC Radio that under the healthy eating plans, larger chain restaurants will have to publish calorie breakdowns of their meals, helping diners to make an informed choice. Back to you, Giancarlo. 
Thank you, Lavan, for that report. Thank you, Giancarlo, for having me. Now reporting for EBC from London, United Kingdom, I'm Love Anne, a villain of the season, and we'll live in interesting times.